Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in today. Today, I wanted to answer a viewer's question on a previous video that I made about making a landing page from scratch. Mike T asked me why I prefer to use a JavaScript redirect on the call to action button instead of the typical href. Um, and he asked what the pros of using uh, JavaScript instead would be. I told Mike that I would make him a video today and explain why the JavaScript ver version is 200% better. So let's get right into that. To help explain, I've made three different versions of my iPhone landing page. I have the href version here, the an on-click implementation of the JavaScript version, and my favorite way to do it is with the add event listener JavaScript. So the href version, when you mouse over the button, you can see the link in the bottom left here. That's where I'm going to be redirected to if I click the link. The both of the JavaScript versions, when you mouse over the call to action button, you can't see the URL. I mean, that's not the biggest deal, but it's a it's a cool little bonus, I guess you want to say, um, of doing the JavaScript version. But the um, main difference is ease of use and not having to change the links in landing pages when you have multiple tracking domains, for example. If your domain gets banned, you're going to have to modify all your landing pages with the new domain. But you might notice here in this landing page, there's a URL parameter, td equals example.com. We're pretending here that example.com is my click URL. And so the JavaScript that I made uh, actually is dynamic. It uses this get URL parameter function. It pulls the TD parameter out of the URL and then it builds my URL with that parameter. So this would be replaced with example.com and then go to slash click PHP, my click URL. And so you can basically make the landing page one time with, with the JavaScript version, a dynamic uh, call to action go function like this and then you can use any domain that you want any tracking domain without having to touch the html code another benefit of using the javascript implementation on your call to action button is you can prevent some bots from clicking through your landing page some bots just aren't smart enough or aren't programmed to understand javascript so they won't even be able to click the link if it's in javascript um, it's not it's not that big of a thing these days while bots are pretty sophisticated so most bots can actually execute JavaScript anyways. You can test this yourself by making a meta redirect for no script. And then the last major reason why I like to use the JavaScript version is you can um, trigger various codes in your landing pages um, when the button's clicked. Like for example, you can make an alert go off when somebody clicks the call to action button, or you could disable a pop, uh, pop over script uh, or trigger a pop under when somebody clicks it all super easy within your JavaScript code. And so to kind of show you an example, how this works, I made an, a go alert function. And when the, uh, CTA alert ID is clicked, the default behavior is prevented and go alert will will be triggered instead. So here I have the call CTA alert ID applied to this div and inside this div is the uh, href linking to example.com. The prevent default will prevent the default um, following of the example.com link and instead uh, trigger my go alert function and redirect to google.com. So I show you how that works real quick. Uh, we have the page here. You can see in the bottom left, this is linking to example.com. But when I click the link, the go alert function is triggered. The alert comes up and then I'm redirected to google.com instead of example.com. Basically the main reason for uh, using the JavaScript version is convenience and speed 
and I really suggest that you do it as well. The tracking domain tokens are available inside of most trackers. And so you can just use to, you can replace example.com with a token, whatever uh, tracking domain that you use in your um, tracker campaign will become um, filled in here in the URL when it redirects to the landing page. I hope that answered your question. Um, and if anybody else has any questions about this or anything else, just let me know in the comment section. And if it requires a video to explain fully, then I'll be happy to make one. Um, that's it for this video. I would appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.